So hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So this one has been pretty much highly requested. It is gonna be my cheese pie recipe. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients and me making it. Now, it's not rocket science. Um, the recipe actually, as far as I can remember, came from my nan. I always remember my nan making it when I was a lot younger. Um, all her children used to eat it and it was just a firm family favourite. So um, obviously as I got older and I started cooking, I started making cheese pie. Um, then Anastasia started liking it. Um, Atticus doesn't mind it, he's not huge on it, but he doesn't mind it, so he'll, he'll have a little bit. Um, and it's just become a family favourite really. And then, Anastasia, her, I think she mentioned it in a lot of her videos. And then in my um, grocery haul, grocery shop, uh, the previous video, which you can watch down below, I mentioned I was making it um, because Anna um, has come home for a couple of days. So I mentioned I was gonna make her favorite cheese pie. And um, I got lots of messages saying, oh, please can you do the recipe? Please can you do the recipe? So I thought, okay, shall I do it on Instagram? Shall I do a reel? Or what? You know what i'm just going to do a good old-fashioned youtube video um so i will show you me making it um and yeah like i say it's so so simple it's honestly anyone can make it it's so so simple but so so tasty so yeah let's make cheese pie so the ingredients for cheese pie they are very few but main ingredient a great big bag of potatoes so i've got the tesco british red potatoes perfect for a creamy mash a great big block of cheese any cheese will do whatever cheese you like um but yeah any cheese a big block a bag of onions because sometimes i make it without onions sometimes i make it with so i got a bag of diced onions then of course cheese sauce to pour over the cheese pie and then I'm going to serve it with some fine beans and tender stem broccoli. So yeah, they are the standard ingredients for cheese pie. Let's go. So, step one. First thing I'm doing is peeling the potatoes. So, pretty standard potato peeler. Um, I'm going to pretty much peel, I'm going to set a good three quarters of the back. So, the potatoes are boiling. I'm gonna boil them for about 20, 25 minutes till soft enough to mash. So while they're doing it, it's a good idea to grate your cheese. Um, I pretty much grate the whole block, really, um, depending on how big a pie you're making. So this is my pie dish, so I'm making a pretty big one. So I'm gonna grate the cheese while the potatoes are boiling. So the potatoes have almost finished boiling um, and now is the time to preheat your oven. So I put mine on about 200 and then that'll be nice and warm. By the time you've um, mashed the potatoes, mixed in the cheese and the onion, then um, it'll be good to put in the oven. So now it's time to start mashing. So um, I'm gonna mash the potatoes with some butter, a little milk, not too much. Then I'm gonna mix in the cheese and the onion. So potato is mashed and now you're going to stir in your cheese and your onion. Put a little bit in at a time. Um, give it a stir and then just add more as you're going along. Don't, I wouldn't put it all in at the same time. Um, just give it a really good stir. So all the cheese has gone into all of the potato. Gonna save that little bit of cheese to um, put on the top before it goes in the oven. Now I'm gonna stir in some onion. I'm not gonna use too much onion. Um, in case Atticus doesn't like onion. <laughs> so I'm not 
really add too much onion. Make, choose to make what size you want so you know if you're just a single person um, just make a small one I've been I've done that for myself in a small um, little baking dish and obviously you know if you've got a big family you'll want a um, really big one and just put it, put it all out. never had it you, you need to try it because it is it's just so tasty it really is it's a wholesome you know wholesome meal very filling as well um, last bit so that's all for that what I, I've always done and because I think I because I remember my nan doing it um, I always make a pattern on the top I always remember my nan doing something like this. So I always get a fork and then just sort of make a little pattern like this. <laughs> Makes it look more like a pie, I guess. Do any pattern you want. You know, there's no rules. The leftover cheese, what I didn't use in the mixture, I'm going to grate over, put over the top like this. Now sometimes my nan would add some sliced tomatoes to the top. Um, I'm not going to do that today. We're going to have veg with it. Um, but yeah, I guess you could put anything else on the top that you want to. So. There is the cheese pie ready to go in the oven. Okay, so I am gonna put this in for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's crispy on top. It is the finished cheese pie. Always cook it till it is dead crispy on top like this. It just tastes even better. And then it's like really fluffy and cheesy inside. Um, and another tip also, when you get it out, it is hot is a word. Um, leave it to cool for at least 10 minutes. So 